broke it up a tiny bit then. Um, is the sound quality okay there? Beard in the background, is it all okay? My name is Dr. Rob Lamkin Williams. I've been a respiratory virologist for over 25 years, and we're working on antibodies that can help fight the virus, antiviral drugs, and vaccines to see if we can find a way of controlling this outbreak. My name is Dr. Jennifer Rohn, and I'm a cell biologist and a research group leader in the Division of Medicine at the University College London. To answer bluntly, will we ever go back to the old normal? The answer is no. It will be a different new normal. The Spanish flu is an excellent lesson from the past. This exact same thing happened in 1918, and, and the consequences were quite stark. Social distancing was a huge thing back then. People were, you know, wearing masks, they were told to stay in their homes. Places that relaxed their social distancing too soon had massive flare-up. In three waves, it killed 50 million people worldwide. We will get a second wave of some description, but the question will be how bad will that second wave be? There could be three, four, five waves, possibly over two years. It's quite useful to compare the SARS-CoV-2 virus to other viruses that we know about. So HIV is a great example of a virus that's proven impossible to vaccinate against. The virus is constantly shifting its shape. So if you vaccinate me today for HIV, the HIV that's around tomorrow will be completely different. So it'll be useless. The good thing about SARS-CoV-2 is that it's a relatively stable virus. It doesn't seem to be shifting its shape that much. It will not be a return to what we had before this outbreak occurred um, until we have probably a full-blown vaccine that we definitely know works. It's really a huge logistical nightmare to vaccinate the entire world, you can imagine. And I think that's going to be the bottleneck. It's very important to remember that we do not know even a natural infection will prevent you from becoming reinfected. So for vaccine, it's even more complicated. So the assumption shouldn't be there that a vaccine or natural infection will prevent you becoming infected again. It will be a phased um, and flexible journey into the new future. It's really hard to predict when we can have uh, the resumption of things like big festivals with lots and lots of people in a very small space. They will go on, but there will be difference. There will be an emphasis on hygiene. By next summer, uh, not this summer, but next summer, we could be under control. So I think it's going to be a very long time before you are jumping on a plane to go to Gran Canaria or wherever. It could be there'll be different kinds of holidays. Uh, at first, maybe we're just taking those, you know, local trips to, you know, a campsite. You're in a cylinder in the sky. It's pretty difficult to social distance in that situation. So I think you're looking into next summer before we get back to any normal sort of tourist holiday season. People who are immunocompromised, the people with pre-existing conditions, they really need to, to take care and be careful. And I think until we have widespread vaccination or he herd immunity, they're going to have to be careful. There's really no way around it. They are at risk. Designing buildings that are cleaner, self-cleaning lifts, for example, making more hand washing stations available, all of that sort of thing. Those will have to be designed into the fabric of society in the new normal. It's hard to say how long it will take for social norms to resume. You know, handshaking strangers might be dead. There's physical welfare and there's mental welfare. They are both important. People need to be able to go out to enjoy themselves. We will get back to a point where people will be socialising in pubs and socialising in restaurants, but it will be different. I like to think that within a year, and certainly within two years, we'll be back to normal. There's absolutely an end to this game. At some point, we are going to have a vaccine. I, I mean, I'm a scientist, so I'm a little bit biased, but I think we're amazing at making vaccines. And then the virus epidemic will be under control, and that will be it. I'm sure of it. I have confidence. <laughs>